From Television City in Hollywood, the Jack Benny program with his special guest, Mr. Dory Sherry, presented by Lucky Strike. Lucky strike, lucky strike, better tasting lucky strike, lucky strike, lucky strike, it's toasted for the taste you like. Every day more people say the luckies do taste better, so hurry on down to the shop you like and buy a cart of lucky strike. cigarette you ever smoked. Lucky Strike. Ladies and gentlemen, for years, those of us who worked with Jack have been after him to get an office instead of trying to conduct his business affairs at home. And this week he did it. He rented a suite of offices on Camden Drive in Beverly Hills, and yesterday, with Rochester's help, he moved in. to be shaping up, huh? Oh, it sure is. You know, you know, when a fella has to deal with as many big men as I have to, you know, an office is really important. Huh? Yeah. Oh, while you're out to lunch, Mr. Daryl Zanny called. Daryl Zanny called? Mm -hmm. what do he want? Warner Brothers, he had the wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll help you in a minute. I want to finish straightening out these scripts. Oh, I'm glad you're doing that, Rochester, because I want to keep my scripts in order, you know? Yeah. These are all the shows you've done for the Lucky Strike program. Uh-huh. And these are the shows you did when you were with the Jell-O Company. Gee, that was 15 years ago. Have we still got those scripts from the old Jell-O series? We still have some of the Jell-O. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, good. <laughs> oh, I'll get it. No, 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 wait a minute, Roger. Don't answer that. No, 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 I've got a secretary for that. I hired one. She should answer the phone. You know? Oh, by the way, I meant to ask you, isn't she the one who used to be a waitress at the Sunset Drug Store? That's right. But then she still has to acquire a little finesse, but she'll be all right. See? Oh, say, Rochester, where are the lamps? Oh, we got one over there. We need one for that table, too. Oh, oh. they're still out in the car. I'll go get them. Okay. Now, let's see. What do I want to do here? Better fix up the wall. I think I'll put the motto up first. <laughs> Some motto, it cost me four dollars. <laughs> see, what else do I want here? Yeah, Mr. Benny? Oh, Mr. Elliot, come right in. Oh, getting all settled, eh? Yes, I hope you don't mind my putting pictures and things up on the wall. Not huh? at all. As long as the tenant is happy, all I right. always say. Here's one to Jack from Jimmy, Jimmy Durant. Oh, yeah. Incidentally, Mr. Benny, you're sure you have no objection to Mr. Henshaw using this office from 4 o'clock on? Oh, no, no, not at all. You realize, of course, that's the reason I'm charging you only half rent. Yes, yes, I understand that, yes. <laughs> Mr. Henshaw is an interior decorator. Mm -hmm. He has another office downtown, and he doesn't come here till 4 o'clock. Oh, well, that's fine. I don't care who comes in till 4 o'clock. Mr. Elliot, would you help me with the pictures, please? Oh, I certainly. I put them up here. Oh, to Jack from Eddie. Jack from Eddie, right? 
To Jack from Gracie. Smith from Gracie. Oh. To Jack from George. To Jack from George. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, uh... That's really George Burns. That's the way he looks without his makeup on. <laughs> I just thought I'd stop by and pick up the lease. Oh, the lease. I'll get it for you right away. Let's get my secretary. <laughs> the new girl that I have. <laughs> Did you ring, Mac? <laughs> Miss, I told you, it's not Mac, it's Jack, Jack Benny. Oh, that's right. Well, what do you want, Jack? Look, Miss Adrian, I must insist that you address me as Mr. Benny. You're not working in a restaurant anymore. This is an office, and business is conducted now. And from now on, you'll have to conform to the normal relationships between a boss and his secretary. Okay, but none of that lap stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that. Now, where's the lease from Mr. Elliot? I put it on your desk. There it is. Oh, yeah, there you are, Mr. Elliot. Thank you. And if there's anything you need up here, don't hesitate to let me know. Oh, I think we're pretty well set. Isn't that right, Miss Adrian? Well, I could use a pencil sharpener. A pencil sharpener? Yeah, my teeth ain't gonna hold out much longer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll have a sharpener set up. George, where? Incredible. <laughs> now, Miss Avian, I didn't mean to get rough with you in front of Mr. Elliot, but I'm a little bit nervous today. You see, Mr. Dory Sherry, he's the head of the Metro Golden Mayor Studio. He's coming to see me today about my being in a picture, you see, and I'm kind of excited and nervous about it. Now, look, at, I uh, made some notes here, and I want you to please type these up. I want an original and two carbons. Okay, one original, two carbons, coming up. <laughs> Miss Adrian, you're not a waitress anymore. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. Every 15 minutes, I wipe off my desk with a wet rag. <laughs> and I keep looking under the blotter for tips. <laughs> tips, that's silly. Around here, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I'll get it. Hello? Mr. Henshaw, the interior decorator? Oh, he won't be here until after four. Yes, yes, I'll, I'll take the message. You've decided to have it covered with chintz, and you want a half-inch ruffle along the sides. I'll, I'll remember to tell him. Thank you. You're welcome. What was that for? Oh, Mr. Henshaw is decorating the seat of Liberace's motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> it ought to be very attractive, I think. Well, I better put this lamp down and get some of these boxes out of here. Okay. I got a filing cabinet here for Mr. Jack Benny. Oh, put it right over there at the side, would you please? Yes, sir. Thank you. Now, look at Rochester. As soon as you get through cleaning up, look at Here's what I want you to do. Now, we have some requests for tickets for our television show, see? Oh, yes. Now, here's a request for two tickets. Yes, sir. Be sure you give them those. Yes, sir. And here's another request here for four tickets. Yes, sir. And when you get through with these, send 30 tickets to the servicemen's center. Because we're going to have a very good show. Yes. Now, don't forget to do I that. I beg your pardon, sir. Mm -hmm. Mr. Benny, these uh, tickets to your TV program, could you spare a few? Oh, sure. I'll be glad to. Four, five, six? Yeah. Well, I guess about eight will do it. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you are. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> it up, Charlie. <laughs> I think four would have been enough. <laughs> oh, Rochester! Rochester, look at Now, will you please clean up the office? Because when Mr. Sherry gets here, I want everything to look nice, you know, because yes. after all, this is important. It's about a picture and everything. Now, I'm going over to Mr. Elliott's office, and I'll be right back. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> oh, 
I wonder where the secretary is. Hello? This is the office of Benny and Henshaw. You never heard of him? Oh, Mr. Henshaw is an interior decorator. Oh, him! He's a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want Mr. Henshaw? Well, he won't be in until after 4 o'clock. Okay, goodbye. Hey, Rochester! Oh, Mr. Wilson and the sportsman, come on in! <laughs> Certainly made a lot of changes since I was here this morning. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, Mr. Benny, I ought to like this office very much because everybody in the building seems so friendly. I passed several of the offices down the hall and all the secretaries were taking a coffee break. Uh, was our secretary there? She was serving him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, is Mr. Benny here? I brought the quartet over to run through their number for our next show. No, but he ought to be back in just a moment. Oh, I see. Well, look, fellas, as long as we have to wait a little bit for Jack, why don't we run that number just once more, and then you can be sure you've got everything right, huh? Right. Right. Okay, come on over here, Rochester. Sit down. Right. The sweet, sweet, the memories you gave me. You sent me the memories you gave me. Take one fresh and tender kiss. Had one stolen night of bliss. The memories you gave me. One girl, one boy, some grief, some joy. Memories I made of this. The memories you gave me. Don't forget a moonbeam. The memories you gave me. Folding lightly with the dream. seen you in ages. Well, it couldn't be otherwise. Uh -huh. Just yesterday, my wife and I got back from our world cruise. A world cruise? Oh, that's right. You sent me a postcard from France. It came through the mail? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> well, tell me about this world cruise. Was it fun? Did you have a good time? Where'd you go? Who did we travel? We went to London, Paris, Lisbon, Casablanca, Rome, uh, Athens, 
Uh, Istanbul, oh, Karachi, uh, Tokyo. Ooh, what an experience we had. Oh, right. <laughs> I can imagine. You know, it must be interesting seeing all those new faces. What new faces? Every place, John Foster Dulles. <laughs> Well, I, I must say, he does get around. Yes, he do. <laughs> well, tell me, did your wife enjoy the trip? Oh, she loved it, Mr. Benny, especially in India. The people there treated her with such respect. Respect? Why not? In India, the cow is sacred. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ketzel, you wrote me yourself that your wife lost 40 pounds. Well, she had to, to get through the Panama Canal. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mr. Kitzel, you're joking. I wish. <laughs> well, anyway, you know, I'm opening up a new office here and I'm very, very busy. Well, okay, but it's nice to see you and I hope I'll see you soon again. Well, that's my pleasure. I got to dash along myself. I have to run home and pack. Pack, you just came back from a world cruise. Where are you going now? To the poor house, where else? <laughs> oh, my. Bye. 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 Hey. Well, the office looks swell now. Rochester did a great job. My name is uh, Dory Sherry. I believe Mr. Benny is expecting me. May I go in? Sure, who's stopping you? Uh, Dory! Dory, come on in! I've been waiting for you. Hello, Jack. How are you, Dory? <laughs> well, it's good to see you. This is the new office you've been telling me about. Yep, this is it. Come in, sit down. Make yourself at home. Huh? Oh, it's beautiful. Very, very, very nice. Love that informal picture of George Burns. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Now, Dory, there's no use wasting any time. We might just as well get down to business, huh? Well, I'd appreciate that very much because I do have to get back to the studio. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, the only reason I've come to your office is to discuss money with you. I, I think what you're asking is a little out of line. Well, Dory, you know me. I mean, I'm always willing to discuss these matters. Now, I said I'd make this picture for you for $20,000, didn't I? That's right. Uh, what are you willing to offer? $750. <laughs> well, I imagine the, your studio is uh, ready to come up. We have. <laughs> oh. Now, Jack, if you'll just sign the contract, we'll be all set. Oh, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Dory. I'm not signing any contract until I find out what I'm going to do in the picture. Well, Jack, the script isn't ready yet, but one of our writers has come up with a basic idea which is just wonderful, with a real offbeat character, which I think would be great for you. Well, I must say that I am rather versatile, but what I want to know, Mr. Sher Dory, is it a big part or a small part? I mean, how long am I in the picture? Well, let me put it this way. How long does it take a body to fall five stories? <laughs> <laughs> that's all I've got in the picture? Oh, no, no, no. That's just the basic idea. For the next hour and a half, we're going to dramatize the thoughts of that man as he's falling down. Oh, oh, well, that's, of course, that, that, that would be interesting in there. Now, what are his thoughts there? Well, we won't know till we throw you out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Dory, I mean, wait a minute. I, that could be dangerous being thrown out of a five-story window. Oh, Jack, don't be silly. We're not going to throw you five stories out without taking every kind of precaution. We're going to try to catch you in a net. Try! <laughs> <laughs> Look, Dory, now, I don't want you to think for one minute that I'm ungrateful. You know that I'd like to be in a picture with you. Now, as a matter of fact, when we discussed it on the golf course, you know that I was excited. You must have been. Twice you handed me the wrong club. <laughs> See? Now, Jack, if you'll just sign the contract, we can get going. We plan to start the picture in 10 days. 10 days? 
Gee, wait a minute. That I don't know whether that'll fit into my schedule. Let me find out what my schedule. Excuse me. Just a minute. Miss Adrian, will you please bring in my schedule for the next three weeks? It's in the file. You got me in a lousy time, Mac. I just did my nails. <laughs> your nails or not. Bring in the schedule. Okay, okay. Say, now you'll never regret that story about my being in a... <laughs> Thank you, Rover. Yes, thanks. Yeah, stay, because I may need some vacation. Jack, there are a few things about the contract I'd like to go over. Mm -hmm. uh, may I have a pencil, please? Thank you very much. I'll just... Circ what kind of a pencil is this? It looks as though it's been sharpened by a beaver. <laughs> I resent that, dearie. It's Dory. <laughs> Go over there, sit down. Jack, would you please sign? Yes, dearie. Dory. Dory. Yes, Dory. <laughs> you got me all the Dory. <laughs> Love is a splendid thing I do. Uh, were, were there any phone calls for me? You. I'm Mr. Henshaw. The interior decorator? Yeah, I, I've been so busy all day at my other office. You know, I, I work hard. Wait a minute. <laughs> Who put this up? I did. Blue drapes in a green background? Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> I this on a motorcycle seat. This car that takes me to the And it's black. What a hideous black. I'm a bit my it's office. Lost I don't care what you with blue eyes? Oh. <laughs> That's the right idea. Take it a break to light up a Lucky. And why Luckies? It's right here on the pack. LS, MFT. Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Naturally good tasting tobacco that's toasted to taste even better. Light up a Lucky right now. It's light up time. For the taste that you like, light up a Lucky Strike. Right now. Light up a Lucky. It's light up time. You'll say it's the best tasting cigarette you ever smoked. Thank you. That was pretty crazy, wasn't it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed the show. And I would like to ask my guest star, Mr. Dory Sherry of MGM, to come out and take a bow. Dory, please. <laughs> Dory, I do want to thank you for being in my program, and I must say, for a fellow who is not supposed to be an actor, you did a terrific job. <laughs> well, thank you, Jack. It was a great pleasure for me to be here with you. Well, we certainly enjoyed having you. I, and I would also like to say that... Uh, now that you're the executive head of MGM, you've certainly been putting on a lot of great pictures. Well, thanks a lot. And I understand this new one coming out now, The Swan, with Grace Kelly, is really something. Well, we hope so, and we think so. Anything with Grace <laughs> Kelly is something, but I understand this is <laughs> awfully good. Dory, I'd like to ask you something. Now, how do you become 
the head of a whole studio. Well, Jack, as you know, I started as a writer. Mm -hmm. And I wrote for a number of years, and then I was given an opportunity to write some little pictures, and then another opportunity to write some bigger budget pictures, and then I was made a producer, and then an executive producer, mm -hmm. and then finally head of a studio. Gosh. <laughs> Dory, how could I ever become the head of a studio? Well, Jack, with what you've got, it would be a lot quicker. <laughs> how? Just buy one. <laughs> be quicker, but a little more painful, I think. <laughs> well, Dory, thanks again, and I'll be over at MGM to see you. Don't forget, my office is on the fifth floor. My desk is right near the window. Now cut that off! <laughs> You know, ladies and gentlemen, many years ago, I did make pictures, and the first studio I ever worked with uh, for was Metro Golden Mayor. And I had made quite a few pictures there, and then in came Clark Gable, you see. <laughs> and we sort of worked so much alike, you know, <laughs> that it got a bit, little bit uh, embarrassing, so I gracefully bowed out, you see. <laughs> and then I went over to 20th Century Fox, and then in came Tyrone Power, and our personalities clashed, you see. So I <laughs> gracefully bowed out. Then I went to Warner Brothers, and I made the horn blows at midnight, <laughs> and I bowed out. <laughs> Gracefully meaning that being thrown out of a five-story window is a cinch. <laughs> well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I, uh, I want you to watch, be sure and watch Ann Southern next Sunday. And I'll be back again in two weeks, and my guest star will be Miss Giselle McKenzie. And uh, I want to wish you all a very, very happy Easter, and be sure and buy those Easter seals. Thank you. Appearing on tonight's program were Iris Adrian, Artie Auerbach, Joe Besser, Benny Rubin, and Wilfred Knapp. Remember, one week from tonight on this same station, be sure and watch Ann Southern in Private Secretary. Jack Benny's next television show will be in two weeks when his guest star will be Giselle McKenzie. The taste is great in the filter tip Terrington. All the pleasure comes through. In the filter tip Territon. Smokes milder, smokes smoother, draws easier. Yes, the taste is great in the filter tip Territon. The Jack Benny program has been brought to you by the American Tobacco Company, America's leading manufacturer of cigarettes. The Jack Benny program has been selected for viewing by our armed forces overseas. Portions of this program were pre-recorded. This is Don Wilson, and ladies and gentlemen, the very best Easter gift of all is the support you give through Easter Seals to children who need your help. These Seals provide medical care, nursery centers, and many other things that are needed. So give and give generously to the Easter Seal Agency in your community, or send your contribution to Crippled Children, care of your local post office. Thank you. <laughs>